Tuesday of the 34th week in Ordinary Time. A reading from the book of the prophet Daniel. Daniel said to Nebuchadnezzar, In your vision, O king, you saw a statue, very large and exceedingly bright, terrifying in appearance as it stood before you. The head of the statue was pure gold, its chest and arms were silver, its belly and thighs bronze, the legs iron, its feet partly iron and partly tile. While you looked at the statue, a stone which was hewn from a mountain without a hand being put to it struck its iron and tile feet, breaking them in pieces. The iron, tile, bronze, silver, and gold all crumbled at once, fine as the chaff on the threshing floor in summer, and the wind blew them away without leaving a trace. But the stone that struck the statue became a great mountain and filled the whole earth. This was the dream. The interpretation we shall also give in the king's presence. You, O king, are the king of kings. To you the God of heaven has given dominion and strength, power and glory. Men, wild beasts and birds of the air, wherever they may dwell, he has handed over to you, making you ruler over them all. You are the head of gold. Another kingdom shall take your place inferior to yours. Then a third kingdom of bronze, which shall rule over the whole earth. There shall be a fourth kingdom, strong as iron. It shall break in pieces and subdue all these others, just as iron breaks in pieces and crushes everything else. The feet and toes you saw, partly of potter's tile and partly of iron, mean that it shall be a divided kingdom, but yet have some of the hardness of iron. As you saw the iron mixed with clay tile, and the toes partly iron and partly tile, the kingdom shall be partly strong and partly fragile. The iron mixed with clay tile means that they shall seal their alliances by intermarriage, but they shall not stay united any more than iron mixes with clay. In the lifetime of those kings, the God of heaven will set up a kingdom that shall never be destroyed or delivered up to another people. Rather, it shall break in pieces all these kingdoms and put an end to them, and it shall stand forever. That is the meaning of the stone you saw hewn from the mountain without a hand being put to it, which broke in pieces the tile, iron, bronze, silver, and gold. The great God has revealed to the king what shall be in the future. This is exactly what you dreamed, and its meaning is sure. The Word of the Lord. The Responsorial Psalm. The response is, Give glory and eternal praise to him. Bless the Lord, all you works of the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Give glory and eternal praise to him. Angels of the Lord, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Give glory and eternal praise to him. You heavens, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Give glory and eternal praise to him. All you waters above the heavens, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Give glory and eternal praise to him. All you hosts of the Lord, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Give glory and eternal praise to him. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. While some people were speaking about how the temple was adorned with costly stones and votive offerings, Jesus said, All that you see here, the days will come when there will not be left a stone upon another stone that will not be thrown down. They asked him, Teacher, when will this happen? And what sign will there be when all these things are about to happen? He answered, See that you are not deceived, for many will come in my name, saying, I am he, and the time has come. Do not follow them. When you hear of wars and insurrections, do not be terrified, for such things must happen first, but it will not immediately be the end. Then he said to them, Nation will rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. There will be powerful earthquakes, famines, and plagues from place to place, and awesome sights and mighty signs will come from the sky. The Gospel of the Lord. 
The first reading comes from Daniel 2, 31 to 45. In this passage, we hear about a dream that Nebuchadnezzar has. He sees a statue that is made of various materials. The head is gold, the chest and arms are silver, belly and thighs bronze, the legs iron, and then the feet are a mixture of iron and tile. These represent the various world empires, the Assyrians, the Babylonians, the Medes, the Persians, and now the feet represent the Greeks. This is the Seleucid Empire. It's a mixed empire. It's not made simply of one people, but rather it's a mixture of various peoples from Turkey all the way to the Indus River in India. And the story is, is that a, a stone would come out that had not been hewn by humans, but rather came out and smashed the feet, which caused the statue to crash to the ground. That stone represents the Jewish people. The idea that it had not been hewn by human hands is a reference to the idea that whenever an altar was built, they were to use stone that had not been finished with iron tools, natural stone, because it was sacred, it was consecrated to the Lord, just as the people of Israel was sacred, consecrated to the Lord. So even though they had suffered many defeats, they would be able to crush this empire because the empire is built upon feet that are a mixture, iron and tile, it's not stable. All you need to do is crack it and the whole statue will come crashing down. Is this a promise that even though it looked as if the Jewish people were being destroyed by the Seleucids who were persecuting them, the Jewish people, if they held out, would crush that statue right to the ground. The Gospel is from Luke 21, 5 to 11. This speaks about the end of the temple, that even though it's a beautiful building, one stone would not lay upon another. We have to remember that the Gospel of Luke was written after the destruction of the temple in Jerusalem. But it's also that idea that things that we think are permanent are really not. They will come to an end. Now when would this happen? There would be one nation against another, kingdom against kingdom, powerful earthquakes, famines, plagues, etc. That many things would happen and we would hear rumors of the end of the world. This is something that always happens, especially in times of political or economic turmoil. We begin to wonder whether it is the end of the world. Message, be ready. We don't know when it's going to come. There are many signs, but they can be difficult to interpret. Always be ready, because we don't know. And may God bless us.